Welcome to Math 20 Video Lecture Series. Sa video ito ay pagpapatuloy natin ang discussion sa solutions ng triangle. And in particular, kapag binigyan ka ng lengths ng sides at measure ng angle, sasagutin natin dito kung ilang triangles ba kung meron ang ma-perform nung binigay na mga measurements na iyon. Okay. So, let us recall our very beautiful triangle. So, ganyan pa rin ang configuration natin. Okay, so, we have actually five cases. Yung iba alam na natin. So, case 1, ang given sa you are three interior angles. This alpha, beta, gamma. So, kapag yung alpha, beta, gamma na binigay sa sa'yo, ang sum is 180 degrees, makaform ka ng one triangle. But if the sum is not 180 degrees, syempre, no triangle. Wala kang triangle na mabubuo. Kasi, ang sum ng interior angles ng triangle is 180 degrees. Ay! Hindi pala one triangle. You have infinitely many triangles. Practice la. <laughs> Okay, bakit infinitely many triangles? Kasi, imagine nyo lang sa equilateral triangle, kung 1, 1, 1 ang sides, or kung 60, 60 ito, pwede nga side nyo 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, so, infinitely many triangles yung pwedeng ma-form. Okay, punta tayo sa next case. Uh, ang binigay sa atin ay tatlong sides. So, S, S, S. So, ito yung rule. Dapat the sum of any two sides uh, is greater than yung isang side. Okay. Greater than the remaining side. And when this happens, ang masosolve natin ay na triangle, meron tayong isang triangle lang na may ganang measurements. Otherwise, wala tayong mabubuong triangle. So example, uh, meron kayang, o ilang triangles kaya ang mabubuo na merong measurement na sides na 3, 4, 5. So, we have to check kunin mo yung sum nung dalawa. 3 plus 4, 7. Is it greater than 5? Yes. So, pasado siya dun. Okay, kuha ka ng dalawa pa. 3, 5 is 8. Mas malaki ba siya dun sa isa? Dun sa hindi mo kinuha? Yes. And yung pinakahuli, 4, 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. Uh, is it greater than yung hindi mo kinuha? 3? Yes. So, nasatisfy niya yung criteria natin. So, ibig sabihin meron kang isang triangle lang. Okay, next example. Let's say side na 1, 2, and 3. Makuha tayong dalawa. So, 1 plus 2. Is it greater than 3? The answer is no. Pumalya siya. So, ibig sabihin, wala kang mabubuong triangle. Or if you try to draw, let's say, ito yung side of length 3. Ito yung length, uh, length 5. Ah, sorry, length 3. 1, 2, 3 palang given. 3. Let's say, ito yung 1. Ito yung 2. Ano mangyari pag pinag-connect nyo ito? Parang malalag, magkuklose lang yun, no? So, ang mabubuo mo, parang ganyan. Yes, length 3, length 1, and length 2. So, no triangle. So, that is for the case the 2. Okay, so yung case 3, ibibigay ay asa naman. Angle, side, angle. So, meaning, may side ka 
And ito lang yung alam mong angles, yung dalawa dito. Okay? So, itong angle. Angle side angle. And, ganito lang gagawin nyo. So, check nyo lang yung alpha plus beta. Yung dalawang angles. If the sum is less than 180 degrees, meron kang isang triangle na mo-form. Pero kung yung alpha plus beta is greater than or equal to 180 degrees, uh, no triangle. Okay. Okay, so case 4. Meron tayong SAS. Ano ibig sabihin ng SAS? Side, angle, side. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, i-check nyo lang yung angle na to. Okay? Kung less than 180 or uh, greater than equal to 180. So, if less than 180, meron kang isang triangle lang na mag-form. Pero kung equal to 180 or mas mataas sa 180, wala kang triangle na mag-form. Okay, so, tawagin natin theta. So, if theta is less than 180 degrees, meron tayong 1 triangle. So, if theta is greater than 180 degrees, no triangle. So, balikan natin yung mga cases natin. So, ang tanong, kung alam mo na kung ilang triangles yung mafoform, or kung merong triangles yung mafoform, anong law yung gagamitin natin? Okay, so for case 1, infinitely many triangles. So, hindi tayo magbibigay ng law dyan. Okay, kasi marami kang pwedeng ibigay na triangles dyan. Okay, so for case 2, binigyan tayo ng SSS, you use law of um, law of cosines. And for case 3, you use yung asa, law of sines. And for case 4, sa SAS, you use law of cosine. Okay? Nag-gets ba? So, sa case 1, infinitely many, case 2, case 3, case 4, it's either isa lang yung triangle na mabubuo or walang triangle na mabubuo. Okay, yung case 5, ito yung maraming cases, sub-cases pa, no? So, yung case 5, ito yung tinatawag natin SSA. Okay? So, ang bibigay sa'yo, meron kang side, uh, meron kang side, side, tapos angle dito. Yan lang ibibigay. So, ibig sabihin this angle, pwedeng kahit ano yung measure niya dito, pwedeng kahit ano, not necessarily kahit ano measure. Hindi mo alam yung measure nito. You don't know the measure of this. And you don't know the measure of this. So, tatlo yung hindi mo alam. So, eto, eto, eto. So, pwedeng gumagalaw iyan. Okay? So, meron akong mas magandang inihanda dyan. Ayan. So, kunyari, our triangle. So, ang binigay sa atin ay, i-highlight ko ha. So, eto lang alam natin. This. This. Okay. Mga naka-yellow lang yung alam natin. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, ang labeling, let's say this is alpha, katapat niya is A, and this is side B. So, ang gagawin nyo from here, gagawa kayo ng perpendicular drop. So, that will be the height. Itago natin sa pangalang H. Okay, so consider tayo ng isang case lang ha. Let's say, uh, bago natin ibigay yung summary, let's say alpha is obtuse na lang. Ano magiging itsura ng triangle na yun? Something pa ganyan, no? So, si alpha yung una yung titignan. Obtuse. So, this is alpha. This is B. This is A. 
May triangle kaya na mabubuo if A is less than or equal to B. Tingnan nyo, so kung yung F to, magkasing size, or A is less than to B. So, pag, in, pag tinry kong i-connect F to dito, by moving this angle, ano mangyayari? Papatong lang siya dito. So, ang mabubuong figure, ganyan lang. So, wala kang mabubuong na triangle. Okay. And, ano pa ba? If A is greater than B, So, pwede natin i-move yung angle na to para ito mag-close siya. So, tatama siya somewhere here. So, yung mabubuo nating triangle ay ito. So, meron kang isang triangle. Okay. So, ibigay na natin yung summary for the others. Okay. So, ito yung summary for the obtuse. So, if A is obtuse, you check if A is less than equal to B or A greater than B. If A is less than equal to B, no triangle. If A is greater than B, one triangle. Okay? So, if A is acute, ikaw compare mo siya kay H. This is H. So, how do you compute for H? Uh, sabi nung sa right triangle trig natin, this is right triangle. Uh, sine alpha is opposite over hypotenuse. So, opposite over hypotenuse. So, H is B sine alpha. Okay. So, when alpha is acute, i-compute agad si H. Okay, si B sin alpha. <coughs> Excuse. At magpa-fall siya sa different cases. If yung H mo greater than A, so height greater than this, ano mangyayari? Ito, pag sinuwing mo pa ganun, hanggang dito lang siya, so mabubuo mo ito. Wala kang triangle na mapaform. If H is equal to A, so, H is equal to A. So, ano mangyari pag ito, sinuwing natin pa ganun? So, mangyari, since equal yung length ni H at ni H, ah, dito siya tatama. So, mabubuo yung side na to. So, yung triangle na mapuform ay, ayan. So, you have one right triangle. Okay, next. So, if, uh, A is greater than H pero yung B nila is somewhere in between so mas malaki yung A so makakabuo tayo ng isang triangle actually ito yung magbubuo mo okay. and if yung A mo mas malaki sa H but A is less than B meron tayong 2 triangles so mas mahaba si B kesa kay a, but A is greater than the height. So, let's say mga ganyan. Ano mangyayari pag, binend, pag inano natin siya dito? Sino yun? So, one possibility is tatama siya dito. So, you have this triangle. Tapos, pwede mo swing pa ulit dito. Tatama dito. So, yung isang mong triangle ito. Ito yung isang side. So, yung two possibilities are Yan yung una, and then, yan yung pangalawa. That's why you have two triangles. Okay? Or pwede nyong gawin ito. Uh, pwede mong i-apply yung sign law direkta kahit hindi mo i-compute si, si H. So, using this, Okay, this is, this must be alpha. Okay. 
Okay. So, ang gagawin mo, diba? Sign. Kung magsasign lo ka, sign alpha over A. Tapos, complete mo yung beta. Kunwari, ito yung beta. Okay, ulit. So, sign alpha over A. Alpha over A equal to sign beta over B. So, kunyari, kinocompute mo si beta kasi given itong um, given si sign alpha given si uh, given si alpha given si A given si B. So, kunyari, kinocompute mo si sign beta. So, sign beta is B sign alpha over A. So, ang gagawin nyo, i-check nyo yung solutions dito. Kware, um, sine beta, di ba? Kapag ilumabas dito, ay wala sa negative 1 to 1, wala kang triangle na form So, ito yun. Okay? Uh, so, ang gagawin ninyo, kapag pasok naman siya sa negative 1 to 1, makompit nyo yung beta. Okay? So, kukumpit nyo yung lahat ng possible beta. So, pwedeng dalawa yung possible betas. Or pwedeng isa lang. So, ang gagawin nyo, try nyo yung beta dito and then solve for this angle. Kapag pasok yung beta na yon, counted as one triangle. Pag nakumpit nyo isang beta, tapos hindi pasok yung angle dito sa 180 degrees, pag inad nyo yung tatlo, one triangle lang. Pero kung pasok, you have two triangles. So, let's do an example. Okay. So, for example, uh, drawing tayo. say we have this triangle this is 30 degrees 5 square root of 2 and this is the 5 so ang tanong how many triangles can be formed and solve for the triangles so ko compute muna natin yung h diba kasi ang binigay sa atin ay s s a so h this is a this is alpha this is b so, H is 3 sine alpha. So, H is, B is 5 square root of 2 uh, sine 30 degrees. But, sine 30 degrees I a 1 half. So, we get 5 square root of 2 over so, that is our H. Okay. So, balikan natin yung chart natin. Alpha, H check. Is alpha acute? Yes, acute siya. So, one of these cases na lang yan. Okay, ano si A? Sino mas malaki? Si A or si H? So, A is 5. H is 5 square root of 2. Okay, so what is square root of 2 over 2? Square root of 2 over 2 is uh, 1 point something over 2. So, wala pang 1 yung square root of 2 over 2. So, this is less than 1. 5 times less than 1 is less than 5. So, H is less than 5. So, mas mababa siya sa A. So, H is less than A. So, dito tayo papasok. Diyan, mas malaki si A. Ito, at saka ito. Ang tanong, sino mas malaki kay A at saka kay B? B is a 5 as square root of 2. Square root of 2 is 1 point uh, something. 
So, mas malaki si So, pasok tayo dito sa case na to. So, meron tayong 2 triangles. Okay. So, 2 triangles. Eh, paano kung ayaw nyo ng method na yan? Let's say you want to use this method. Nasa pangalawa. Uh, this is just another solution. So, papangalanan nyo tong alpha. So, kung may masosolve lang tayo, but usually hindi mag-work. So, sana mag-work dito. Okay, so sine alpha over A is equal to sine, ah, this is beta, sorry. Sine beta over B. Mag-work kaya iyon? So, sine alpha is 1 half. A is 5 sine beta and B is 5 square root of 2 ok so sine beta is uh -huh, square root of 2 over 2 so ilan ang solutions nito sa unit circle so ang beta mo pwedeng 45 degrees or uh, 135 degrees so, ang gagawin nyo, check ninyo, no? So, if beta is equal to 45 degrees, ang alpha natin is 30 degrees, ano yung magiging gamma? So, ang gamma natin, ito yung gamma. Okay? So, gamma is 180 minus 45 minus 30 degrees. Kailangan positive to kung may triangle na mapuform. And yes, this is positive. 180 minus 75 is 105 degrees. What if beta is 135 degrees? Alpha is 30 degrees. Gamma is 180 degrees minus 135 minus 30 degrees. Uh, which is 15 degrees. For. Yes. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung possible angles. So, dalawa yung triangles na mo form Okay? So, pwede nyo gamitin yung technique na ito or technique na ito. Okay. So, let us solve for the amazing sides. Oh, meron na pala tayong two cases. Ba't ka pa binura? Okay. So, pag kinumpit nyo yung gamma, ito din yung makukuha ninyo. Okay. So, we have two cases here. So, this is C. So, ano yung mga nawawala pa? Okay. Dito muna tayo sa isang case. So, sign. Uh, meron na tayong highlight natin mga nasolve na, ha? So, meron na tayong beta. Meron na tayong gamma. So, si C na lang nawawala. So, sign gamma or C over sign gamma is equal to pili lang tayo ng isa dyan. Let's say A over sign alpha. So, mangyayari, C is A sin A sin gamma over sin alpha. Ang A natin ay 5 tapos sin 105 degrees over ang sin alpha Okay. And what is this? Sine 105 degrees is... Mm -hmm. Sine 30 muna. Sine 30 degrees is 1 half. Sine 
And sine 105 degrees, a special ba yun? So, actually, pwede kang gumamit ng sum and difference identities for 105 degrees. 105 degrees is 40 degrees plus... Oops, hindi pala. So, pwede gamitan to na... Paano ba itong gawin special? Ang 105. Gusto mm. ko yung madaling para, pero mano nga. <laughs> Hmm, pwede mo siyang express as uh, 135 minus 30 degrees. So, special yan. But for now, i-calcule muna natin siya para makasave tayo ng time. Okay, so what is sine 105 degrees? Okay, i-direct na natin sa calcul yung final answer na lang. Okay. So, 5 times sine 105 divided by sine 30. So, that is approximately 9.6592 5, 7, something, something. So, that is yung sa first case. Okay? Yung sa second case, mm-hmm, nasa na yung nagawa kanina. Okay, so we have uh, this case. So, ganun ulit. So, C is equal to this. So, C is equal to A sin gamma sin alpha so a sin ang gamma natin is 15 degrees over sin 30 degrees ang a natin is 5 ok and you can use your calculator if allowed otherwise gagamit tayo ng half angle identity for this one so 5 times sin 15 over sine 30 degrees. So, approximately 2.58 something something. So, ito yung two possible answers. Okay, so you can have these angles and this is C or these angles and this is C. Okay. And that ends our lecture on the number of solutions of triangles. Bye.